Look at that fish! Oh, yeah. Thing is huge! Oh, I'm ready. Are you guys ready? You guys got hooks on here? Yeah. Kinda. All right, so as soon as I hook this thing, it's gonna go crazy. They're super slimy. Like once you get eel on you, like it's probably not gonna come off. So I'll, I'll do the hooking for us just to get us started here. And then I don't know if I get one on the hook or whatever, and I'm out there like you guys are on your own once you've seen it twice. So, <laughs> so what I like to do is uh, I'll get a little bit of slack I'm using, using the broken stick just to hold the rod up here a little bit. And I leave a little bit of slack out because once I throw the eels out of the bucket, they're actually going to like be really squirmy and all that, so I might need some room to hook it. Got it. Do they bite? Um, they can, but normally they don't. There we go. Right. So there's our eel. That's a snake. I know, right? <laughs> yeah, they're scary. So I like to get them like covered in sand and all that because they're easier to grab onto. And what I'll do is uh, I like to hook from the tail um, just because you're not piercing through the brain. They seem to like last longer. Um, of course, see, see that's why I leave the slack on there because if they get too far, they're hard to hook. So I'll go like up in the meaty part of the tail right here and I just hook their spinal column. So I go in about like an inch or so on the heel. Okay. And basically like you just press it through like halfway through the eel so I've got him hooked here at the tail you see how he's like squirming up see how he's like hooked about an inch from the tail <laughs> so basically like you're good to go so alrighty and then what's the just flick him out yep cast him out as far as you can and then just try to like keep tension on it alright how far out should I as far as you can go man Yo. Oh, I got a fish. He bumped it. He didn't eat it. Yep, I got him. Check this out. We're out here fishing with freaking eels, man. This is crazy. Like actual live eels. We tail hooked them. Brian's got us set up out here. We're on the on the sand. It is. I don't even know. I think it's like 11 o'clock. Catching striped bass on live eels. The surf rods. Nice fish. Oh, that's a good one, dude. It is. Really? Yeah, oh yeah. Oh, yes. We should weigh him out. Yeah, let's weigh him. The night is very young. Woo! This is awesome. Yeah. Look at this fish. Put your hand on him. Oh, yeah. So, uh, yeah. I'm going to have to get back in the water. And the survey says 15.6. Yeah, baby. 15.6. Brian had us out here, we're throwing eels on circle hooks. Live eels on circle hooks. Uh, that eel drifted maybe five seconds, and he hammered it. And this is a beautiful, almost 16 pound, true striper out here in Martha's Vineyard. Thank you so much yeah, for putting man. me on this fish. That's a really nice fish. Look at this, guys. This How is cool amazing. is that, right? What a fish. He's starting to get a little, a little kicky. So what, what the rocking does is it'll uh, allow the uh, air to get back into his lung. So, there it goes, man. Beautiful, right? What a release. Oh my god. Just so, so beautiful. They really are, man. That made my night. That That's made... a happy ending, man. That's what I'm oh, talking about. Oh, thank you. Right? Wow. Let's get some bigger ones yes, too, sir. dude. We beat it. We beat we, your uh, We killed it. Today. We crushed it. Night's still young, man. That's awesome. Angler tore with its biggest 
straight bass. Ryan said it was gonna happen. It happened. Oh, my bad, dude. Yeah. My bad. Alex missed the, wait, missed wait. the bump. We gotta do the Voltron thing. With our powers united, we will catch this. <laughs> yes, we will. <laughs> and fish number two coming in here. It's just a little fella. Ambitious. Get him right up on the beach. That's not a little guy. That's still a good fish, guys. Yeah. It's like you just have to sacrifice by taking a hook to the thumb and then you get blessed with good fish. Another beautiful fish. Look at this. Oh my God. Being treated so kindly here. Night fishing with Brian. It's like a dream come true, man. You just hope that you're gonna get one bite while you're out here, and that's two back to back. Both beautiful fish. This guy's showing off for us. He's all flared up and everything. But, oh, Angler Tour is scoring plenty of striper. I don't even know what to say. They're so pretty. Awesome. Let's get this guy released. Do it all over again. He's probably going to shoot right off. He was not happy. Beautiful. There he goes. Wow. Feels good, doesn't it? Feels really good. Alex, you got to get one. <laughs> yeah. Like basically, once you chuck that out, that thing feels like you've got a fish on the whole time. <laughs> yeah. He's not happy. Man, yeah. I was gonna say 11. Yeah. yeah, nice, bud. Heck yeah, should be out. There we go. Nice work. Beautiful 10 pound striper here, uh, just off Martha's Vineyard. We got a beautiful full moon. We got we got eels. It's it's crazy. <laughs> it's awesome. <laughs> Nutmeg. There you go. Keep going, buddy. Sir. That was awesome. Nice. That's a good fish. Appreciate it. I'll push back. Maybe it's just a lazy big fish. Hooked up again. Ah, uh, he's not too big. He's... Quality fish. Another quality fish. Right in the corner of the mouth. This could be golly. Yeah. Another beautiful fish. Let's get this release. Right now I'm sitting in the orca from the famous Jaws movie. This is iconic. I mean, I'd, I'd say quotes when I'm kayaking in water, my home lakes, when I'm messing around with friends on just whatever pond, river. It's, this is sweet. The orca, like from the movie, right here. Martha's Vineyard. This is legit. Nice fish. Thank you. Eleven three. 
There it is. Still a beautiful fish. Yeah, nice work. Just got back in bed. We woke up at 5 a.m. yesterday, and it is currently 5 a.m. of the next, I don't even know how that works, of the next day. So we just did an entire day of just fishing, and I mean, we were catching up the whole time, so it's like, Brian and I were talking about it. Right, Brian, how can you leave fish? You can't leave fish. <laughs> Yeah, we we all need help. So we're gonna catch like four hours of sleep now, and then maybe hit a few brook trout in the morning, get some cool shots around town, and then get back out on the boat for a bit for a little bit of an evening bite, and then uh, yeah, figure it out from there. So 24 hours in the books. Catch up with you guys tomorrow. Paper clips, yeah. Cod the pins out because there's a certain amount of bone in you, yeah. Cod them out to the wrong place, then set it out to dry. <laughs> That's incredible, yeah. Let's see Robin over there. Yeah. 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 Jumped off a bridge. Jumped off a bridge. Caught some brookies. Woo! Explored the islands. Now we're out here catching the sunset bite. Got me Steven Bigelow, South Painter. Yeah, baby. Put my boys on the fish. Another yeah, day. That's right. In the life. Loving what I do. That was sick. Good peacock here. 